What's going on guys and welcome back to another update for the week. Here's a quick glimpse of the whole tank. So we did a water change yesterday on the tank. I just did feeding so that's why I'm starting up a lot of debris here but for the most part everything's looking pretty nice in the tank. As you can see we have some natural algae here and there in the tank that we're trying to address though. It's getting better slowly. Alright so let's start with uh, the update on what's new with the tank. Uh, so we added in some new cleanup crew. Um, I noticed that as you can see here I've been kind of mentioning this for a while We got some dead snails that are flipped around Some snails over here that are getting flipped around and dying and you can see this one here So notice that turbo snails they are kind of a hit or miss. It's like a 50% survival rate in the tank like they don't do well um, along with a bunch of these hermit crabs here when you put in new snails uh, into this tank they just like start you know killing them and just flipping around and trying to take their shells or whatever so whatever snails I was putting in this tank they would slowly kind of just die off like that where if they get flipped around the fish will go after them the fish are like like this guy here would we'll pick them up on purpose and just like flip them around and then the other fish would just eat them so notice that occurring a lot more frequently than I would like I'm having to replace the snails a lot more frequently even with the trophies so the trophies they can flip themselves around they still get killed a lot in here um so really no snail is, is good except for the ones that are like under the, the sand and whatnot and hiding they come out so I'm trying to move away slowly from snails I and mean, whatever snails we have left in here is going to be whatever snails we left have left but i'm starting to go to some tuxedo urchins now these guys are awesome so i i got them i want to say like three weeks ago the first one just to see how they do in the tank this was actually the first one here as you can see he's collecting rocks and collecting a bunch of other debris already um and i placed them over in this piece of rock here as you can see there's a bunch of algae on this piece of rock and this algae here was pretty bad it was like all this long hair here was like all over here and then like he slowly or she slowly worked this little area for about like you know a week or so and pretty much completely removed everything in that little area so i was like wow you know we found something that actually can eat this turf algae um that's in this tank and it's really just this turf algae that's like holding this tank back um it's like this long turf algae thing and i think i got it from one of the frags um a little while back and they just kind of bloomed in here because my phosphates and you know whatnot and my nutrients are pretty high in the tank I'm trying to you know control it but it's it's going to be high in this tank uh, no matter what i do such beautiful work that this little guy did i decided to get a bunch more and i think i'm going to just replace my snails with urchins um, and these guys i think are going to do a fabulous job of cleaning the tank so right now i have one i have this guy is new. I just got in a smaller one, so that's two. We got three over there up top. And there's a fourth guy somewhere in this tank swimming around. And I think four ideally would be perfect for the tank if there was no algae, where it's just kind of maintaining, you know, the growth that's going to be in this tank. But as you can see, we have algae along that, along the back, on there, there, and back there. And if they take about a week, to you know consume and you know once the guy left this place it's starting to come back on like the, the second and third week um, i'm thinking like four to five is like perfect to maintain the tank now i need uh, the algae to be kind of you know gone first and then kind of dial back on the urchins um, so i'm thinking of getting potentially five urchins maybe six to start off and then just kind of letting them do his thing, right? Let them kind of clean this whole place. And then once I've noticed that there's not enough algae for them to eat, then I might trade back one or two and just kind of let, let the rest kind of maintain the tank, right? So right now, um, as you know, my fish store gets in some tuxedo origins, I'm going to probably buy a couple more. Right now I have four, probably get like one or two more and then kind of see what they look like. Right, so that is the new addition to the fish tank. The other addition I add was this conch here. I put them into sand, just brand new into this tank. 
um, because my fighting comp, he recently just perished or just died. Had him for a while too, you know. Did a really good job and then all of a sudden, boop, he crapped the bed and didn't make it. So we're just getting a smaller uh, version of the conk um, to replace him. And really, I'm still waiting for my quarantine fish. I got a, a goby, goby type fish. Um, that will help with turning over some of the stand. There's algae all over the stand, which is fine because the conch will take care of it. And once we get that um, goby in here, I'll help turn the stand bed and hopefully keep that clean. So everything else has been the same. So let's start with this side because we've always gone to the other side. Let's start with the corals. Um, so here's my Godzilla. I don't know, I don't even think you guys can see it, but there's two babies on top of the frag there. And it's taking the sweet time to kind of grow out. Um, we got the Candy Crush over there. Right there. And then we got, look at this Monty Cup. It's starting to slow down the growth, I've noticed. Um, the color is still there. Everything, everything is pretty good. Uh, it's just slowing down. This recovered Monty Cap is still coming back slowly. Same mushrooms, mushrooms over here. Um, the acros are still doing okay. Um, really not much growth or not much difference. I can't really tell to be honest because like they're slow. They're so like slow at growing. Um, I did put on um, the very top here. This is the digi that's broken from that guy over there. I did frag that piece actually. Um, and I put it in the sump, but that's a piece that was kind of like sitting over there, sitting in the back there, and then like it fell on the floor. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna glue it to the top here. Glue it to the top just to see how it'll do, especially with higher par. This is close to like 350 to 400 par up top here. So we'll see how fast that one kind of grows out, you know? And then for the acros, most likely I won't buy any other acro. So if, you know, we have ac these acros die, so be it. Only keep the ones that are kind of easy to, to keep. You know, if they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't, you know. Unless unless we have like a really, really cheap acro that appears like like this, you know, $10 one or something like that one over there was $10. Um, or that $10 mystery one there. Then I might pick it up. But we'll probably um, stay with the acros that we have here, right? So if any of these take off, we'll just kind of have like you know, the same colonies over and over and over, right? So here's the PC Rainbow. This is the only one that I'm kind of kind of concerned about. You see here in the bottom, it's starting to like kind of turn white. Um, it was already like that when I got it. And then like it's starting to kind of get creep up a little bit higher to the tip of the acro, um, so we'll see. Um, and also that side's not getting light, so maybe that's not helping you either. <laughs> so we're getting a lot of shade because it's like the light is coming from like this side and not like that way. So if it doesn't make it on that side, it doesn't make it on that side, you know? The NEMs, the NEMs are doing fabulous. So we have that giant NEM that's colored up. We have a baby NEM that's over here. We got another baby NEM over here. Got another baby NEM over there, so this, these are the color of sunbursts that bleach to like nothing, but now, look at this, we got color back. Everything pretty much got its color back, um, but they're not fully extended where they're open. Um, we don't have any bleach ones anymore, uh, I believe. They all got the color back, they're just like tiny, like this. They either split or they're just like chilling like that. But this is probably the one that's like the most colored and, and really long in its tentacles. All the other ones are colored, but they're just kind of like bubble tip where they're just kind of scrunched down to like nothing like this, which is nice too, you know? I, I kind of like the compact version of it as well. This one moved around, but it's got its colors back. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, moving across. Um, we did lose one acro, which is the Walt Disney, which sucks. And that one was like sitting here. Uh, it was starting to strip. <laughs> and then of course me, I was just like, oh, let's just put it in higher light. I put it up here. And the next day, bleach, of course, because it was already under stress. This was the old Walt Disney that I had not bleached and never came back from shipment. And um, so, unfortunately, we lost our Walt Disney, which is okay. Um, here is the other acros over here. We moved that one 
on the previous video. Um, so it's another Digi, same Digi. One is WWC, this one is the EEC or something like that um, version. And there's another frag of that right there. Um, I put it over here where it was the old spot just to see how it do. Eventually, um, if you don't get any of the acros growing, you know, if the acros all suck. Um, but look at that, that green slimer. We have a little tip on the side there that's growing out, which is awesome. If we don't get any acros growing the way I would like them, I'll probably just frag these and just put them on the top and just keep them all the same or something like that. <laughs> we'll probably only have like one type of digi uh, that we can grow in here, which is fine. You know, I'm not too worried about that. Here is the uh, Monty Cap back here. It's the WWC, and it's just like the normal OG WWC uh, Monty back there that's growing. Uh, we got some more mushrooms over here. We got some, oh my goodness, who's making a mess over here? Look at this, they're throwing sand all over this. Um, look at my jawbreaker, it's growing really big. It's got a baby right here, but that baby can't grow. The baby's like right here. Can't grow out because it's getting shaded and it's getting blocked by something. And I can't get in there to like remove it, but it's, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it, it, it grows on its own, but I think this is gonna be a jawbreaker like little island here. Uh, but yeah, so that is all the core holes, except for the ones down in the sump because I did frag like that one back there, that one right back there. The reason why I fragged it was because um, one side was all green, one side's all red, and the middle is kind of the cluster where it's like the green and red that's combined. And we don't want to grow that, right? That's that's the portion that people are interested in is the, the blend, right? So I, I fragged off the other piece. I'm gonna probably end up fragging like this side here, the red piece, and just kind of growing the middle piece there to get like that combination of both colors. Um, but I'll show you guys down in the sump when we get down there in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so every other fish in here are doing great. Rass is doing great. Um, the angel here is doing good. Notice that he's not picking on, same thing with this other angel. He's not picking on any other corals, which is really interesting. So this is the experiment that I was trying here. This was the chalice that was free with one of my purchases. It still has its eye there. It actually has two other eyes on the top there. Um, it's grown slow, but you know, it's, it's growing. That chalice hasn't been killed yet, and which is interesting because the other chalice that I I did initially, which is in the sump. I put it in there and started pecking at it. So maybe we can actually keep chalices up here. So we'll see. Um, after that uh, grow up contest ends, um, I'll probably try to put it back up here and see what happens. So I'll be kind of interested to, to seeing that grow out. Um, all the fish are still fighting on this side here. That's where that mirror is to kind of keep the aggression down. I've noticed that that mirror really helps. So if you can kind of keep a mirror in the tank, just to kind of Permanently, it helps with the aggression a lot because the big guys will just be over here fighting while all these other guys are just calm like the pyramids over here. They they get chased once in a while, but it is like way better. They don't get harassed as, as often. With the lights, um, lights are, you know, fabulous after the upgrade. I did bump it up one percentage um, just to kind of slowly acclimate some of these corals a little bit higher in terms of par. Um, I might do like one percent every like month or so but again i'm all these guys are still frags so i don't want to overdo it right and also we have tons of algae right now so i don't want to just fuel the algae from growing so let's take a look at the bottom the bottom is uh it needs a little help with the algae blooming out here because we also turned up the um the lights down here to accommodate for the clams so the clams um, are now still getting 350 par uh, at the very top here, um, a little bit more maybe. And with that comes algae growth, right? Uh, there's tons of par down here. And as you can see, even with the macroalgae, we get a bunch of algae growth on there. And you know, these algae, they just, they don't really stick onto the thing. You literally just go in there and just go like with your hand on the side, it'll just come right off. But uh, yeah, so that's, that is the drawback for the running highlight down here. We have a couple other pieces down here. There is the chalice that's growing. There is, oh, I think you can't see anything here. There it is. There's the Gigi, the green portion of it, and that's been fragged off. There's the other 
piece over there. So the digi down here is looking okay. Just a layer of gunk that I, I try to clean once a week, just try to siphon a bunch of that off. But I'm, I'm being very careful because there's a lot of like baby uh, shrimps and whatnot that are still down here, that are swimming like along here as you can see. Just all along here. So if I get down too low here, um, I would probably like suck them up and just kill them by accident. So there's a bunch here. So being very careful, I probably I'm not going to siphon anything anytime soon just because I want to see some of these guys grow up first. The refugium side here is tumbling, um, but the growth isn't quite there because we still have algae. So I added um, a third light here. So this one's just dedicated for the refugium side and these are dialed in for the uh, clam. And the clams are doing good, except for, you know, this maxima back here. It's just one side. That left side is just weird. It just doesn't open correctly for whatever reason. Um, it's not like it's attracted or anything. I don't know. You can see like, you know, all the Crocerias are like growing and opening really nicely, but that guy's just not. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Dude, these guys are like pooping machines, man. These tangs. Look at all this. All this is just from one poop. Insane. Insane amount of poop that they get. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm also running this tank, no skimmer and no filter socks, kind of. I do put in the filter socks after I do a water change um, and I kind of stir up everything here and I throw in that filter socks to kind of just pick up everything and then I take it off like after a couple hours. Um, so that's one thing to note that it is partially on a filter sock. So really I'm trying to get everything on that refugium where everything's going to be filtered through the refugium but the refugium is taking a sweet time to grow in and then algae out here is not really helping so once i find that balance because i've done it in my other previous setups where i don't run any like filter socks i don't run any like skimmer or anything like that once the refugium takes off boom it just handles really everything and um you just need to do like your normal like siphon and just siphon up you know stuff every week um, to take care of like just the breed just landing on on the sand and landing on the floor or whatever so You know everything for the most part is slowly looking good. Uh, we're getting the phosphate numbers down slowly. Not really not really It's like it went from like 0.5 to 0.4 and then like at one point it was like at 0.3 um, And now it's hovering around like 0 0.3 0 0.4. So we're slowly getting it down um, I think that the refugium once that takes off um that will help numbers go down but yeah like this tank's been running like at high phosphates forever and everything is like growing slowly but not growing fast enough so we'll see we'll see we'll see once once we get things dialed in and matured a little bit uh, hopefully in the next couple updates here we'll see less algae and then we'll kind of go from there but yeah this is the update for the tank if you guys aren't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe like always and some guys peace